So as election season continues right here in Fort McMurray, we're going around and talking to all of the candidates. And right now I'm joined by one of the PC candidates, Mr. Don Scott. So thanks so much for joining us. Thank you very much for uh, having me on. So Don, which riding are you in, just to clarify for people at home? Fort McMurray Conklin, uh, which is basically one of the new ridings, which is described as the South riding. Perfect. Now, one of the big hot topics as election approaches in the community is always Highway 63, the expansion of Highway 63. How do you feel that your campaign can bring this um, expansion to be a little bit more fast? About six months ago, I had a meeting with the Department of Transportation as part of my municipal duties, and I went into that meeting and I said, what is the problem? Why can't this highway be twinned? And they looked at me from across the table and they explained to me that they were facing a couple of different challenges. They said that there's a caribou caveat that's that's somehow blocking the expansion because some of the federal funding is tied to that caribou caveat. The other thing they told me is that they're having challenges getting contractors to actually take on those jobs because the Alberta economy is so strong. I believe those challenges can be overcome. I just believe that we need somebody in government who can motivate people to get things done. And then one of the other hot topics that will be going on in the community is obviously the senior care facility. There's been a big issue on where that would be built and how. How do you think that if you are elected that you could change that in the Fred's community? We definitely need the continuing care facilities built. Uh, sometimes what I'm hearing from people is that it's one or the other. We're a community that I believe needs to move beyond that kind of thinking. We need both. Why can't we have two facilities in this community? Everybody knows it's expanding and growing. We're going to be much bigger than we are in the future. Let's have two facilities. Let's plan for both right now and let's get two facilities. So for people that maybe not know, don't know you in this community and that are watching at home, maybe tell us a little bit about your background and uh, why you decided to run. Sure, I own a law firm in town. Uh, the law firm is McMurray Law Office. Uh, I have about 25 staff. I've been in the community a long time. I'm a pretty active volunteer in the community. I'm formerly the president of the United Way, which is something I'm really proud of because it's given me basically a good base, I believe, of volunteerism in the community and to understand needs of the community from a lot of different angles. So uh, both a businessman and a volunteer, and I've, I've recent, more recently been on municipal council, so I spent some time there. I believe it's critical to have people in government who can form relationships and get things done for this region, and that's why I'm running. Now you just spoke about your relationship with the Municipal Council. I know that you ran last time in that election, and here in Fort McMurray, we don't always have the best voter turnout, regardless of what race it is. How do you think that you can encourage voters to come out this Monday? I have been going to doors for three months talking about that exact issue with almost everybody at the door, and people are sometimes shocked when I tell them that our voter turnout is the lowest in Canada, and I'm trying to inspire people to get out. We're sending voter information cards out to everybody we're with voter information on it, and we're also doing a lot of efforts on, on the election day to try to inspire people to get out and vote. It is so important to get out and participate in this election. It, it's a really critical election for this region. Things like education, health care, transportation, infrastructure, all those things are at issue in this election and I believe that the Progressive Conservative Party has the best platform to address those issues and I really want people to get out and get involved and vote. Thank you. Well, thank you so much for joining us. Be sure that you go out and vote this Monday for this upcoming election. Thanks a lot, Don. Thanks.